the YouTube algorithm. Now this is something no one ever talks about. You know, there's a lot of things I could talk about the algorithm, but I, I can't divulge all the secrets, but I will divulge a very big one and this will be very useful to all of you out there once you realize this. The last thing YouTube wants is for people to understand the algorithm and work the system. Here's one of the biggest secrets about YouTube is Rolling. Action. YouTube. 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 Mail time. YouTube. 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 This place is just getting taken over by the YouTube swag. I love it. But this new one might be one of my favorites. Clapper, as they call it. I didn't know that. We got this for speaking at that Google live stream. Me, Jack, and Haley. It's linked below. It's all advice on YouTube and blogging and all that jazz. I don't think I've mentioned this on the vlog or celebrated or whatever, but 400,000 subscribers. I made a Facebook video about it and you see it all over Instagram and all my other social media accounts. There's so many things I forget to tell about the vlog because there's all these other social media accounts and yada yada yada. So many people were asking me why was I in Sagato? What was I doing there? And I just thought it was obvious because oh, I forgot to put these lights on. Let's see if that makes a difference. I look way better. There you go. 400,000, we made it. Only 600,000 more. Just kidding. But really, I feel like every time we hit another 100,000, I always make some YouTube related vlogs. So I thought it'd be fitting to talk about how I got this far. Some more little YouTube hacks and vlogging secrets, which I haven't shared with you. You know, aside from hard work, motivation, passion, all that jazz. These are the little things that help me keep my content entertaining and that have definitely contributed to the 400,000 people watching my videos. Insane. I just exercise, so if my energy seems a little, who is that? If my energy seems a little low, then that's why I apologize. It's like, it's 2 a.m. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. This is an informative vlog, so hopefully you guys will be informed. Oh, I forgot to mention, sorry, my ADD is like exploding right now. The FanFest announcement. That's another thing I said on all my other social media platforms, except for YouTube itself. I'm gonna be headlining in FanFest. We made it, we made it. I remember dreaming about being in FanFest last year. I said, one day I'll be there, but I didn't know it'd be this quick. And May 12th, I hope you're there. Meet and greets and everything else. I remember last year I went, but I wasn't a headliner. I just was invited. And at that point I was crying and stuff. And That was a big deal for me. So for this, I mean, I can't even explain how excited I am. Anyway, let's get to it. Personal hacks and things that work for me. Things that help make my videos more entertaining. First things first, music. People always ask me, where do I get my music? I spend so many hours just searching the internet on YouTube, on SoundCloud, and I just literally type royalty-free music. And that's it, and I go through music and I spend a lot of time doing it. I think music is so important in vlogs, a specific type of music that should be lit AF. How many times do I read the comment that says, came here for the thumbnail, stayed for the music? You know what I realize and I think? They might not even necessarily like your video or cinematography even, but the music good they'll continue to watch it because they like the music and the music makes them happy and then I think it tricks them into thinking that they like your video there's the YouTube library music as well you know like the those jingles hey 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 Best type of thing. You could use those as well. The music I've been using very recently, and he's my all time favorite, is David Cutter. How do I know about David Cutter? It was way back in the day in Casey Neistat's first 100 vlogs. I just saw that Casey Neistat uses music, and I was like, I'll oh, check this guy out. I checked him out, and it's amazing. And me and David Cutter are like pe pen pals. Is that what you call it? He might be the only person on this world that, like, I have a relationship through via email. David, if you're watching this video, yo, say what's up. What's up, David? It's funny because David Cutter is like the most mysterious person on earth. I confidently think he has the best royalty free just vlog music on YouTube. If you want to buy David Cutter's music, we have a code. Use the code DASEVICH20.
Another technique I use to keep people's attention because I know this world has such short attention spans. I really believe the majority of the world has ADD. I don't believe in ADD because it's not a real thing. I think we all have it to some certain extent because it's not something you could actually diagnose. Everything I do, I try and keep fast cuts. I try and keep things spontaneous. There's no airtime in between when I talk. I use a lot of jump cuts. Only YouTube does it. I love it. You'll never see jump cuts really in movies, but that's one of the beautiful things about YouTube is you could get away with jump cuts. I'm very fond of montages. This was made popular by Edgar Wright, if you've seen Hot Fuzz or Shaun of the Dead. Come on! And you know I do those montages where I just... YouTube. YouTube. I think just the noises and everything captures your attention and it's just like, plus that keeps you focused. When me and Erwin Youssef did our first collab, and I think it might have been the first time we met or something, I asked him, why do you watch my videos? Why did you choose me of all the artistas and famous people you know to come join you on your little cooking show and collab with you? Like, why me? I had like 15,000 subs at that time. I was whatever. And you know how I'm super weird and Joel Logs. And he's all like, so shall and stuff. But what he told me was whatever it was I was doing my videos it grabbed his attention and it kept him watching He said even though by the end of the video He didn't really know why he watched it or what he got out of it He ended up watching the entire video kind of like a backhanded compliment, but I'll take it Basically, it's just being fast-paced and keeping the audience and being spontaneous <laughs> Always gotta keep them on their toes. Erwin, stop being such a silent ninja. I know you watch my videos. Comment below and say something. Such a creep. Erwin. The YouTube algorithm. Now this is something no one ever talks about. You know, there's a lot of things I could talk about the algorithm. But I, I can't divulge all the secrets, but I will divulge a very big one and this will be very useful to all of you out there once you realize this. Now I know Suzanne and Enrique and all the people at YouTube will kill me for this because the last thing YouTube wants is for people to understand the algorithm and work the system, which is what I'm really good at. But gotta do what you gotta do if you wanna make it. So here's one of the biggest secrets about YouTube is the algorithm it works off of watch time. It's the total opposite of Facebook. Facebook, it's all about views, whether they're three seconds, where a YouTube, a view has to be 30 seconds. And it's all about watch time. So for an example, back in the day, Lloyd Cadena did a viral video, the Trumpets Challenge, and I saw that going viral everywhere, but I noticed the Trumpets Challenge, his video was only 30 seconds or one minute. So what I did was I copied the Trumpets Challenge, which was a minute, and then I just added the rest of the vlog on that, so it ended up being a 10 minute video. <laughs> Now, even though Lloyd Cadena's video had like 400,000 views at the time and mine had like 50,000, if you typed Trumpets Challenge at that time, my video would rate first. It would be the first video that comes up because it's in watch time. Basically, if you watched one of Lloyd's 30 second video and if you watched the entire of my 10 minute video, that's basically like Lloyd Cadena's video times 20. There's another thing with when we work with companies and branded content and when we do endorsements, before they always are trying to get the video short on YouTube. Anything on under like seven minutes just won't get views for me at least and it's so hard to get views on YouTube if you have a short video it just doesn't work so you can see on, on all our branded content we usually make a one to two minute video on Facebook and then we try and make a like eight to ten minute video on YouTube but for some reason they're always pushing for videos to be shorter on YouTube they just don't understand the algorithm PR ad agencies and clients understand this. The longer the video, the better it's gonna get more views. Another example is, is Daniel Marsh. His best videos are his shortest ones. They're only one minute or two minutes, and those are his super trailers. That's what he's known for. Even though those are his best videos, they don't get the most amount of views. And if anyone knows Daniel Marsh, they know him branded as this amazing cinematographer. And the reason why these aren't getting views is because once again, they're really short, which is why he really should be focusing on Facebook. Daniel Marsh, if you're listening to me, I use him with the situation most at Facebook. You've been delaying this way too long. Don't be afraid to like write out certain points when you're gonna talk about something. Look, I have bullet points and notes of what I'm gonna talk about and honestly, most YouTubers do that. Really what it comes down to, it, it's so hard to edit if you're just gonna do a vlog and then talk and then you end up talking for like an hour and then editing that takes forever. If you plan out what you're gonna do or like what you're gonna talk about and just put bullet points like this, boom, it's gonna make the editing so much faster and it really controls your ADDs.
Hello? This is a big one. For whatever reason, I really think just editing those like one, two, three second clips really spices up the vlog. Rather than me just being here as a talking head and blah, 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 blah. It's so much better when you just like have a random movie clip like this. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. It's better when it's in context, but my sister. People asking, is Will gay? Is so good at that. I think my sister is better than anyone else. Logan Paul, he does that as well. He's very good at that. But then again, it's not just movie clips, it's any kind of clips. You know, like when I say, mind blown. Like that, or. If you wanna know where I get a lot of my clips and stuff, there's this great site called Video Blocks. Here, I'll just show you right now. This is what the website looks like, and you get footage from anywhere. So one thing I did was, look, I type in Palawan. All these different footages of Palawan comes up, and then you could just use this. So if like this, boom, look at that. They got drone footage of Palawan. And they got a bunch of different types. They got a time lapse. If you really just wanted to cheat, I just realized that you could just like download all this really nice footage from Palawan and then just like use that in your vlogs and kind of do that style. How You know how you have like Christian LeBlanc and these other different travel vloggers that are really into just, they'll just do cinematography and they'll vo voice it over and be like, Palawan's the best place in the world because this and that and yada yada is some of the most beautiful landscapes and the most incredible people you will ever come across. You could just download the videos and act like you went there and then voice over like a Christian LeBlanc video and it would probably work out. I've been playing around with this though for a while now and it's really endless, the amount of videos and stuff you could get from this website. It's not just videos and clips. I mean, they have after effects and background and I'm not tech savvy. So, I mean, I just keep things really simple but you go crazy with this stuff. I wonder if they have PBB footage that you can take. <laughs> Let's see, let's check it. Big brother, what you got? Kids and big brother, Pinoy. Wale Figured Anyways, you guys get the point. All of this is royalty free, which you can use on your videos and whatnot. Apparently, Video Blocks has one of the fastest growing largest stock video libraries with over 3 million videos, and that's with the After Effects and motion backgrounds. And it's the only contributor marketplace that really gives 100% of the commission back to the artist, which means, you know, they're really not taking anything from that. Apparently, they got a lot going on this month as well. I mean, it says here that they're launching a new collection featuring hundreds of new Unreal clips, including space, VR, deep water, fantasy, and sci-fi footage. All of this stuff comes with the subscription and for a limited time. You also get free 4K clips at the membership library with no additional cost. If you guys want to try it out, I mean, they're giving away seven days of video blocks, so you can try it out and explore the new connection for free. I'll have this link below. There's a free seven-day trial, so just click the box, check it out if you want to. Oh, no, my lights are dying. Simple enough, you guys get it. I really believe it's important to add in these little clips every now and again, especially if you're doing these like desktop vlogs like this where you just talk to the camera because you always have to change it up. And that's another thing they teach in film school. I've never been to film school, but I just know this as a fact is you should never have anything the same shot more than three seconds, which is why it should always be quick. Sound effects. When I was watching vloggers when I first started, I didn't see anyone I have a flight in a couple hours. I'm going to Malaysia and I'm slept <laughs> like pulling another all nighter. So I'm gonna break this into two parts. I hope you guys understand. I, I can only edit so fast. I had such a really long day. We're going to Malaysia, mom. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey. I just colored my hair. Don't be. It looks wow. nice. There's nothing wrong with I'm it. Coloring my own hair. Instagram. Follow mom at Instagram. Yeah. Watch part two of this. This will, part two will be up tomorrow. I'll leave it in the um, at, at the end of the, in the annotation the end card thing. <laughs> All right, dude. I'll, I'll see you guys later. What's the most valuable thing you learned from this vlog today? And if there's anything you think I left out, then comment below. And give more advice. Give more YouTube advice. Everyone now saw it. <laughs> bye. 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 Oh, and I almost forgot one more thing, clickbait. Of course, you know you gotta make something advertising. You gotta make people click your video if they're gonna watch it. One more thing I forgot to mention. Uh, thank you, Video Blocks, for sponsoring this video. It was a video I needed to make anyway, so might as well be sponsored, diba? All right, really, bye. Tapos, tapos, tapos na. Look who just came in from the boondocks. Mangyan, straight out of the mountains. How do you yeah, make your sushi? Yeah, it's 10 hours drive. It's so good. Do I mean, it's so different that? coming from the boondocks. I, I like the white one. I'm sipping on Bella. My chip from Bella. My whip from Germany. I'm cooler than LL. I'm sipping on Bella. My chip from Bella. My whip from Germany. I'm cooler than.